Well, good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Nantes have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter-attacks if you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot, it can have a, a devastating effect, actually, at the offensive end of the pitch, too. There's the whistle. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Kylian Mbappe. There's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you at full speed he gets into a stride so quickly and seems to just glide across the turf but when the goal's in front of him he's also got that cool head that's required to to pick a spot and finish everything off not to disagree with that it is the sort of situation he thrives in it over to the other flank well, needless to say he was expecting a better ball than that it's got through to him and the counter is on he's one on one surely Keylor Navas simply had to make that count and he did it with some authority too wonderful Been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Hoists it high. Tries to get it clear. Well positioned to make that interception. Neymar Idrissa Gay tries to get it forward quickly Oh, the whistle's gone, what's he given? And the referee's decided that he was fouled outside the box and it is just a free kick and he's going to have his name taken Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Peter, the keeper knows that even if his wall is perfect, it doesn't serve as any guarantee. Neymar! This could fall anywhere! Kings it out wide. Hit into the middle. Great leap! Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! And Paris Saint-Germain take the lead! Oh, the cross was inch perfect, and the header unerring. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Paris Saint-Germain break the deadlock well that's the currency he deals in and he's come good yet again never the one to let you down in these situations
Mbappe dashing forward at pace. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Nantes have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition... They certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Brings it forward. Oh, good interception. Oh, the question, that's a foul. Keeper sends it forward. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Oh, it's Pablo Sarabia. And the first half is done. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Paris Saint-Germain leading 1-0 at the break. Already up and running for the second half. Paris Saint-Germain carrying a one-goal lead. And here's Pablo Sarabia. Mbappe floats one over. And it's Di Maria. Hoists it forward. to switch the play still just a single goal between the sides chance to shoot <laughs> Meunier Mbappe plays it out to the flank so Jim what are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Big chance! Goal! Two up now, and they are cruising. Paris Saint-Germain are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Nantes are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three.
Mbappe gets Russell off the ball. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see. Oh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Let's be lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. And he's going long. Decent looking ball. Chance! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Sarabia has just shown why those situations demand a higher grade of focus. He fluffed it. He's picked him out, he's there to receive it, oh, and the shot! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. Well, that ought to have wrapped it up, Peter. He may well regret that, you know. Should have put that one away. Throw in. Gets it back. Pablo Sarabia. Mbappe. Time added on. Four minutes. And that will be the final act. Paris Saint-Germain have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, and the result...